All right, 2022 predictions. So, uh, you know, there's always different types of predictions to make. And, uh, you know, do you make them kind of outlandish and memorable or do you make them, you know, more utilitarian and useful? So uh, say I predict that, you know, next year, uh, this time, we will all be cyborgs, um, but just from the waist down, fully robotic. So, so many questions. You know. It's a very weird uh, view of the future there, Gabe. But it'd be nice and memorable, right? I mean, New York Times headlines, futurist predicts half dystopian future, be great. On the other hand, we could do some nice utilitarian ones. Uh, you know, I predict that many of you will adopt TypeScript in the coming year. So maybe a little bit more useful, a little more actionable, um, but but boring. So, uh, you know, maybe maybe not exactly what we wanna wanna predict. Uh, we'll try and stick to the middle for this. You know, maybe uh, half cyborgs will adopt TypeScript in the coming year. So, 2022 predictions. Uh, but, but wait, I, I mean, why any good at this prediction business? Should, should we listen to me? I mean, how did, uh, how did last year's predictions go? Let's, let's, let's take a quick look at those. Yep, that was me, okay. Ooh. And uh, let's see, so these are the predictions from last year. Um, healthcare will take up 25% of GDP by 2030, uh, that you will buy a VR headset, and that machine learning mathematics techniques would drive some uh, evolution of just machine learning structure and techniques. So those were the, the predictions. And uh, let's, let's grade them, let's see how they did. So this first one, it's really kind of a 2018 prediction, keeps, keeps rolling forward, you know, targeted till 2030, real long term. Um, but we can look uh, GDP uh, that's allocate or that's uh, taken up by healthcare is about 18% now, it's ticked up a little bit. But we're in the middle of a pandemic. You'd think it would be larger. Um, so uh, I'm not looking so good there right now, but I still have faith. I think we want more healthcare. I think by 2030, we'll see that, that pay off, even though right now you'd say no. And uh, you will buy a VR headset this year, right? Uh, yes, everyone buy a VR headset this past year? No. Uh -uh. I did. Okay. Nope, Jeff didn't. Uh, who else here? No, no, man. Okay. Boy, not good. I know a lot of people who did those, so I think it was a good prediction. Uh, but, but maybe not the Tech Confluence uh, audience. You all have them already, right? Didn't even... I, I did buy one. Okay, excellent, excellent. Uh, you got to enter the metaverse, right? That's what's going on these days. Uh, third prediction uh, that machine learning models learning how to do mathematics, which they've really done quite a bit, or doing a lot last year, would drive new advances in the structure of machine learning models. Um, and actually, I have not seen much about that uh, this past year. I think that's not a great prediction. Uh, you know, maybe just off by a year or two, we'll see, um, but not really seeing much evidence of that. So there's our grading. Now, now we can really move on to, to 2022 predictions. Got a lot of cool ones here for you, some neat stuff going on. So let's jump in. Predictions for 2022, holograms. We start seeing more holograms popping up here and there, a lot of different places. Um, the year of the avatar, you're going to spend a lot more time thinking about your avatar and your digital representation this year. And last, utility blockchains. So uh, you're going to encounter a blockchain in the more utility use uh, sometime this year. So holograms, you know, we're talking here about a 3D image that can be viewed from multiple angles. Uh, you know, this isn't going to be all over the place yet this year, but you're going to start to see it popping up a little bit. You know, five years out, you're going to see this a lot more. And uh, this coming year, I think you'll, you'll see the beginning of that trend. You know, uh, maybe it's at a concert, maybe it's a theme park, uh, you know, maybe at the mall, see a little hologram. Uh, maybe it's at a trade show or a conference where you have a holographic speaker. So it'll still be a little bit gimmicky, but you'll start to really see that, that change and that trend happening. A lot of what's going on with holograms is still kind of a reflection trick. Um, and, you know, these are really popular in like the 1860s. You go to shows and see, you know, some bright light um, shining through some glass would kind of, you know, make the image of a ghost on stage. Uh, you know, really cool. And, you know, this was described back in 1589. So this is not new in, in that respect. And, and so a lot of the holograms that you see different places, you know, the little prism on your smartphone, you see that in the lobby, still kind of the same trick getting 
you know, a bit more sophisticated now, several images making it look even more 3D. Um, that's not too different. Now, on the other hand, uh, you're also seeing a lot going on with people developing, you know, new light field technology and um, eye tracking to really make great 3D holograms. So uh, you can see, you know, a little bit uh, on the left here how it works. You can get a few more viewing angles um, by, uh, you know, computing how the field of, uh, of light is going to hit viewers' eyes and uh, get devices like uh, this one you can see on the right here, which is basically like a picture, picture frame you set on your desk. Um, just, you know, it's a little bit deeper, but gives you, you know, a really deep sort of 3D experience. Uh, you, can, you can go buy those on Amazon. And uh, similar sort of thing, uh, on the left here, you see a box. So same kind of thing, just bigger scaled up. People are starting to use these for presenting at conferences. Uh, you know, right here, you see the, the filming and the hologram side by side, but separate those by a few thousand miles. Great, you can really have some in-person presence for your, uh, you know, conference. Maybe at the future, you know, our tech confluence meetups will, uh, will be hybrid. And we'll, we'll all be in our little boxes like this. So maybe you'll see one of those this year. Okay, next prediction, 2022, uh, year of the avatar. Uh, we have avatars all over the place. There are profile pictures, our video game characters that we design, our, our VR avatars for all of those who uh, bought their VR headset last year. Uh, you know, sometimes it's the collection of things we post on somewhere like Facebook, kind of creating that persona. But uh, we're all spending a lot more time on our avatars. And a uh, little, little side thing here, if you've hired a lawyer recently, um, I assume that you, you hired a, a cat lawyer, right? Because, I, I mean, all good lawyers are cats these days. Um, otherwise, you just, I mean, you don't know if they're, they're competent or not. So I'm sure that... Uh, you, you've seen a, a few of your, your lawyer's avatars. And uh, go back to sharing here. In general, this year, uh, you'll probably be spending a lot more time thinking about, you know, what are your personas? Do they need some consistency across different places? Are they different? Um, thinking about avatars a lot. Uh, you know, on LinkedIn, obviously, I'm always wearing a blazer and laughing at some business joke, uh, you know, persona there. Um, you know, the, the real me, of course, it's, you know, all, all Star Wars here, so. Um, but we're different selves. And last uh, prediction for this year, uh, utility blockchains. So Byzantine fault tolerant distributed ledgers, really useful for lots of things. Uh, finance use cases, you know, clearly payments, escrow, hedging, trading, all sorts, really useful there. Oh, um, did you NFTs. get a <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll cover that uh, in the, the appendix. What? So uh, NFT has been really hot this year. Uh, you know, registry of intangible things is kind of the essence of the thing itself. Uh, but I predict that this year, you'll encounter a blockchain for tracking something else. Uh, maybe it's for tracking a nice bike or a pair of skis. Uh, you know, just like our pets are chipped, I think we're going to start, uh, you know, chipping a lot more things. You know, have an RFID chip on especially your expensive stuff. And why on a public blockchain instead of just on, you know, stuff back or you know, it, wherever you bought the thing from? Uh, it's because it's, it's a more neutral registry for all the companies making things. So, I mean, this year it will probably will be on the Cannondale blockchain or the, the Burton blockchain, but uh, you're going to start to see those combine into uh, larger registries for things. I, I think you'll start encountering some of those this year. Uh, you know, all those will merge. Everything is getting a, a system identification number. So those are my predictions, holograms, you're the avatar, utility blockchains. We'll see next year how they all turn out.